and I'm here with Jerry Reynolds at the Knights of Columbus here in Lebanon, and we're going to talk a little bit about the fish fries that are coming up, Jerry. Uh, they'll be here before I'm really ready. They're, <laughs> it starts this Friday, Ju uh, March the uh, 3rd uh, is the first one, and we're going to run for seven weeks after that, all the way through Good Friday. So. Give us a little history on this. How long has these fish fries been going oh, on? Oh, Lord, I started, uh, well, we took it over back, and probably most, a lot of people in this town don't know it, but uh, when the VFW was next door here, there mm -hmm. used to be a house there, and they had fish fries every Friday night. Mm -hmm. Well, they sold the house, and they quit doing fish fries, so we decided we would take it up. So we literally hand-packed, their, bought their stoves, hand-packed them over here to the KC <laughs> Hall, put them up, and we started our fish, first fish fry. Uh, back in those days, we used uh, what they call a whiting. Uh -huh. uh, when you got done, you had a shell, looked like a whale. Uh, mm -hmm. You just pulled the meat yeah. off of it and uh -huh. ate it. Uh, we didn't sell very many kids, of course, because mm -hmm. of the bones and right. stuff. And we probably did, we thought we were doing good when we did 130. And uh, so that went on for a couple years, and then the, the, the guy that was Grand Knight, that's what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I became Grand Knight, and I said, we're changing fish. So we went to Ocean Purge. Okay. And uh, it, no bones, and it picked up. We, went, we started feeding three and 400 people. You know, we thought we were really doing good, which we were at the time. Uh, well, that way, too, it was open to families, because the kids, right. kids you could, could bring eat. your children kids out kids and, eat. and eat. Uh, and then Purge got to be real expensive. Mm -hmm. So we had to find another fish. Well, we went to Pollock then, which at that time, it used to be what they called a junk fish. They threw it away. They didn't use it. Mm -hmm. But then they decided they would flash freeze it on the ship, bring it in, freeze it again. So when you got, to, when you got through thawing it out, you had a whole lot of water, mm -hmm. a little bit of fish. Uh, and then we found this catfish called Sway. And... Uh, very little, very little waste to it. Uh, guy told me that he thawed out a box, a 15-pound box of each. Uh, the sway, he got about 12 pounds of fish out of it. The other, uh, the pollock, he got about seven, eight pounds. Wow. So mm -hmm. you were buying a lot of water. When we, when we used to thaw it out and cut it, uh, we'd have to be careful when we picked up those big cookie sheets to keep from drain, uh, drop, spilling water all over the floor. Well, now we don't have that problem. We can throw out both times of fish mm -hmm. that we, we throw it out twice a day, and uh, we never have to empty but once. Okay. So it's, and the sway is pretty good tasting fish, oh, it's isn't it? It's a good it? fish. It's real white, real flaky. Uh, there, we, we buy a five to seven ounce piece of fish. We cut it one time, and if you get a carry out, which we give, you, we give everybody in the carry out three pieces of fish. That's mm -hmm. about 10. 11 ounces of meat. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's fish, fish, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had a lot of people tell me, well, I can't eat all of it. Me and my husband, we ate it together. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, well, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, we do not sell any children's plates, carryouts. It's all adults. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to bring a child, you have to come inside and eat on mm -hmm. a child's portion. I mean, you pay for a child's price. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but we don't say, well, we're going to give you this and... Mm -hmm take it home, you, everybody's going to get the same amount that goes out the door. Okay, so this year we have carry out as well as eat in. Yeah, our carry out is probably bigger than our, you know, our, than our eat in. We probably feed 500 people outside and only mm -hmm. a couple hundred inside. Wow. Tell us what your menu is this year. Well, our menu is going to stay the same as it has. Somebody mm -hmm. told me, said if it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> so we're not. Uh, okay. We're having breaded fish, mm -hmm. uh, parsley potatoes, okay. pinto beans, mm -hmm coleslaw, fried cornbread. If you eat in, you get a drink and all you can eat. Mm -hmm. It's $10 to eat in. It's $9 if you take it out. The only thing you don't get is a drink. Okay. And you don't get to eat all you want. But, but like I said, most people said they get enough. Okay. And I know you also have desserts, or desserts will be offered. Desserts will be offered. It's not us that does them. It's the uh, uh, Marion County Association for the Handicapped. They're going to mm -hmm. do it this year. Uh, Charlie's Angels, the Relay for Life team, has decided they're getting too old and don't want to do it anymore or can't do it or mm -hmm. their team's dissolving so they're, they're not going to do it so Mer uh, the Marion County Association is going to do it. Okay, and they, they usually have some really good desserts. Uh, yes, they do here, because yes. I usually sneak away from my mm -hmm. wife and go hide one before she sees me but then usually <laughs> she makes me buy her one too. So. Yes, indeed. But it's a, it's a good meal. 
Okay. Uh, give us a time. I, I know they're always on Fridays. They're always on Friday. It starts March the 3rd, goes through Good Friday. Uh, we start at, we say 4.30 carryouts. Usually if I've got enough people here to work and they're lined up outside the gate at 4 o'clock, I'll start feeding. Mm -hmm. uh, inside it's 5 o'clock because we want to make sure when we put it out it stays hot. Mm -hmm. uh, we have people that, you know, takes care of the food, rotates the food, and uh, we want you to have a hot meal. Okay. Now, you were, we were just speaking of uh, people who do things for you. You've got a lot of volunteers. We usually have between 40 to 50 people working mm -hmm. at a time. Uh, it takes a lot of people. Of course, right now you see me, but I got another guy coming this afternoon. We're going to set up some tables and do some things like that that needs to be done. The actual cooking, we'll thaw fish tomorrow mm -hmm. and put it in buckets, put it in the refrigerator. It's not completely thawed out. It takes till Friday to get it thawed out to where we can use it. Mm -hmm. And then Thursday, Wednesday we don't do much other than accept the tr grocery trucks that come in and put the supplies away and be ready for Thursday. Thursday's a big work day. We have a group that comes and does nothing but peels potatoes. Uh, there'll be 14, 15 men and women sitting over there in a little circle mm -hmm. just talking up a storm and having a great time, enjoying themselves. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I have about five or five guys that come and they cut up the cabbage and the carrots and the onions and everything for the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. And then we mix the coleslaw up Thursday, put it in buckets, put it in the refrigerator. So everything goes into the refrigerator usually by Thursday. Uh, I soak the pinto beans Thursday night, let them, you know how pintos will do if you yeah. let, let water set on them, you'll have a pan full when you get yeah. through. Yeah. So we do that on thir Thursday night and I come out Friday morning, we start getting it together to put it on the stove. Uh, we start cooking around 11, 1130, put the beans on then. Potatoes don't go on quite that early, but, and then they'll, they'll show up, uh, John Thomas, city administrator, he's mm -hmm. our chief fish fryer. So uh, when he gets here and says we're ready, we're ready. So we, we start then mm -hmm. and try to get ahead. We just bought a new warmer from over to St. Catharines when they sold out their equipment mm -hmm. that we're going to store everything in at wow. a certain temperature and make mm -hmm. sure it stays hot and everybody's happy. Fantastic. And I know that this is the fish fries, our fundraisers. Tell us some things that you've uh, done with the well, funds. We, I mean, you know, it's, I don't know, uh, everybody knows when you got money, uh -huh. and uh, there's always somebody calling saying, you know, I need this, I need that. Mm -hmm. uh, we do donate like $100 a month to the, to the Marion County Food Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, I go myself personally and call Brenda Harmon mm -hmm. and ask her what she needs, not what she wants, but what she needs. Mm -hmm. And usually I don't get green beans or corn, you know, the churches and the families bring that kind of stuff in. Mm -hmm. uh, I take powdered milk, cereal, uh, spaghetti, spaghetti sauce, mm -hmm. things like that. Stuff that the normal person doesn't go out and buy and bring to them right. that they can use. They like, I mean, you know, milk is something they can all use. They right. come in, there's a box of... Uh, Ten packets in a box. They give each family up. You know, it needs milk a packet, or maybe two, depending mm -hmm. on the size of the family. But uh, most of the time, that's that's where our money goes. Okay. And we also have a put your men to play basketball on Sunday night up here at St. Aidan. And uh, instead of charging them, we take care of the fee, and they they have to bring food. Uh -huh. oh. And we could donate that to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know. Uh, what else do we do? Well, of course, if St. A calls and says they need something, you know, we try to, the school, them. we uh -huh. try, because it's the only Catholic school in mm -hmm. Marion County. Okay. We try to help them out. We uh, donate a scholarship to Junior Miss. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys Appalachian Mountain yeah. Retreat, uh, we send men up there to work on houses and stuff and pay for that. Uh, but like I said, it's just everybody finds out you got money and they, everybody wants a piece. <laughs> it's not a month goes by that we don't have four or five people asking for something. I mean, Little League Baseball, we, we sponsor mm -hmm. a team. Little mm -hmm. League Football, we sponsor mm -hmm. a team. All the little sports activities, we sponsor. Okay. So when you come to the fish fry, you'll know that the money that you, you use to, to buy your dinner is used in the community. 
we, 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 we put it back in the community. Yeah, as much of it as we can. Now, we did spend a lot last year because we had the blacktop or parking lot. We had to extend it and because the fish suppers got so big, we had to, we sure. had to get bigger. Mm -hmm. So uh, we spent quite a bit of money, and right. but we had to. For the good, for the good. So uh, give us that date again of that first dinner. The first dinner will be this Friday, March 3rd. Starts at 4.30, carry outs, 5 o'clock to eat in. And we usually run till we run out of food. Wow. We have fed 800 people in two hours and out of food. Wow. Uh, but I mean, you know, that's a good sign. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, it is. 800, I think 809 is the biggest crowd we've ever had. And we've turned people away. I don't know what we Give do. us that menu again. We have we have breaded fish. Mm -hmm. Sway. Sway. Good fish. And we have parsley potatoes. We have pinto beans. We have corn, fried cornbread and coleslaw. Fantastic. You want to invite everybody out to dinner on Friday night? I hope everybody comes. Uh, I've got enough fish back there to feed most everybody. Okay, and how much is how much is it again? It's ten dollars if you eat in. Mm -hmm. It's nine dollars if you carry out. We have a child's plate if you're 12 or under to five. It's it's five dollars. Mm -hmm. If you under under four and under eats free. Mm -hmm. So if you want to bring your little one and you know because they're not going to eat a whole lot and we're not going to sit here and gouge you. Yeah. We're not trying to stiff anybody. We're just trying to feed them. Okay, fantastic. Well, look, listen, I look forward to coming out to eat. Well, I hope you do. I really do. Uh, I hope you and Gary come out and enjoy yourselves. We certainly, we have in the past. Well, I tell that's you, good. We've had a great time. Listen, this has been Yvonne McNary for Central Kentucky Television. Here with Jerry Reynolds, inviting everybody out to the fish fries on Friday nights uh, through the, the Lent season.